growing up in a small town, you don't really uh, think, you know, you don't think the NFL is something that's achievable. It seems so far away. Uh, and, you know, I grew up, uh, my, my football team in high school wasn't really good. We didn't really have a tradition of sending guys to college or sending guys to pro. So I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be, you know, playing in the NFL as a kid. Uh, but I, you know, I was a, a good player in high school, had some great people that supported me, uh, that got me some opportunities and got me some exposure. And uh, I ended up receiving a full scholarship to go to Mississippi State University, which, you know, I thought was the pinnacle. You know, playing for Jackie Sherrill and, you know, seeing the Bulldogs playing on TV growing up. You know, I mean, it, it, it's, it was a dream to be able to get a chance to go to college and play in the SEC and play on TV every week and just and, and getting the chance to really just kind of live your football dream. Uh, and my, I remember my first year there, my first year in training camp uh, at Mississippi State. You know, I was having an OK training camp and uh, um, you know, I was a linebacker in high school and they had kind of moved me to defensive line. And Coach Jackie Sherrill, uh, after one of the practices, came to me and told me, he said, if, if you work hard and you do the right things, you got an opportunity to play NFL football. And it was my second year in the NFL, you know, when we when we got a chance to, to go to the Super Bowl. And I was blessed to be drafted to, a, to drafted to a team with a lot of great players, a lot of Hall of Fame players. You're talking about Warren Sapp, Derrick Brooks, Simeon Rice, John Lynch, Rundy Barber, uh, all these great football players who are either in the Hall of Fame or on their way. Uh, so I was blessed to be drafted into an opportunity uh, to be around some great, great, great players, great men, great leaders. Uh, and they had built that team up to a point. They had built that defense up to the, one of the greatest defenses of all time. And I was able to come in and carve out a niche of myself, carve out a role, be able to help that team. And those guys had worked so hard. So to get an opportunity to help them achieve that dream that they had put in so much work for. You know, when, when, when a lot of those guys first got to the uh, Bucks, they were the yucks. You know, I mean, they were they were the worst team in the NFL in those cream sickle uniforms with the, you know, with a pirate with a knife in his mouth there. You know, so so you 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 think back to when they were really really bad and really really terrible, and those men put in a lot of work to build up that franchise. So to get an opportunity to play for that team for that unit at that time and to get a chance to play in the Super Bowl and actually win it and get a Super Bowl ring. Uh, I mean, it, it, you couldn't write a better story for a, a kid from a small town in Mississippi. The creation of my foundation, I think, you know, a lot of the, the, the origins of the, of the creation of my foundation is, one, you know, being a parent uh, and knowing that, you know, you want the best for your children. You want to give your kids the, the, op, the optimal opportunity to find success uh, in, in this world, in the economy, in this country. Uh, so, you know, you start to really be aware of what's being offered educationally. Uh, then, you, you know, you, as you get older, you know, like I said, you get kids, you start to pay attention more to what's happening in, in education, what's happening in the government, what's happening in the economy. Uh, and and you, know, you, you see that we have a, 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 a deficit in the skill set that our workforce has. Uh, I think you know, Janet Yellen uh, last week on, on Capitol Hill getting interviewed, uh, said there were six million job openings that, that co U.S. companies saying that they don't have a skilled enough labor force to fill. And by, 2000, by 2022, that number's looking at being nine million because we have such a deficit in the, in the skill set. So we're in a competition uh, for, uh, for jobs and, and we want our kids uh, you know, throughout this nation to be prepared for it. So starting the WIMS Foundation and having a focus in STEM uh, education and, and computer science uh, and really getting our kids uh, exposed to these skill sets at a young age. So it becomes a part of who they are. Uh, is our athletes get so focused on the athletics and athletic achievement that sometimes they forget about, hey, you're gonna have to have a career. Like 99.9% .9 of our athletes, uh, high school athletes, would never earn a living playing professional athlete, athletics. And that's just the numbers, you know, that's just, you know, it, it is what it is. So, but with athletics, they sometimes consume our children's minds. So uh, the on and off camp that we're doing, uh, we're, uh, the focus of it is we, we're, we're, there'll be a portion for on the field training where we'll be doing virtual training with JJ Watt, Paul George. So the kids get to see some professional athletes going through just the simple exercises, simple movements that are the base of becoming an excellent athlete. But the off the field portion, which is the most important uh, portion of the camp, uh, is computer science. Uh, computer science classes uh, designed by Microsoft, 
uh, kids will get a chance to get an introductory introduction into software coding, in the game design, uh, in the business development, uh, and they'll get a chance to take these classes. and And we hope to spark uh, something in them that gets them to you know really enjoy computer science. There was a point where he had retired and he was trying out different things, and he's he's very smart. And I knew I used his passion for tech. I used to say he's really a gadgets guy but it evolved from being a gadget guy and then he also had passion for kids and I saw him mold all, mold all that together and start the Wims Foundation and he's done a lot, a lot, getting uh, volunteers, getting donors, putting this camp together. He did a camp during the Super Bowl that was amazing, amazing. He did a camp at the NFL Yet Center. Even the people at the Yet Center were like, they didn't realize it was gonna be so big and so like awesome. But I've been very proud of him and everything he's done.